Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today we're going to be going over five mistakes a lot of men make when they purchase their first suit. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys the new, the fifth watch that I just got, finally got in the mail. So I've been talking a lot about the new line that the fifth just dropped recently. This is their new and most minimal line yet and I'm, I completely love this watch. It's very simple in aesthetics and it's one of those pieces that you can just throw on with anything. And on top of that, it's their most affordable piece. So I'm gonna have it linked below so you guys can check it out with a discount code so you can obviously receive it even more affordable just for you guys. The Fifth always hooks us up and the TMF family up with a great discount code. So I'm gonna have all that linked below, but I just wanted to show you guys the new watch, show you how it looks on the wrist and just how aesthetically pleasing it is. So now let's get into these mistakes. You're crazy excited, you have some formal event coming up, whatever it may be, and it allows you to wear a suit. You buy your first suit, and you think you're gonna step in there looking like James Bond. But unfortunately, you didn't watch this video, and you might be a victim of the five common mistakes that a lot of men make buying their first suit. The first mistake? Now, I'm gonna get a lot of argument from this one, but trust me on this, wearing belts with suits. Suits were never meant to be worn with belts. Belt loops were added after time, once off the rack, suits started to become popular, but before that, all suits were custom made or bespoken for, which meant that they were tailor made and they would come with features like side tab adjusters or button adjusters or suspender buttons on the inside for you to be able to holster your pants up. But other than that, the trousers would always fit perfectly to the point that you wouldn't need a belt. You see, what happens is that when you wear a belt, it chops your image in half. And the whole point of a suit is for you to look like a nice, clean, slick silhouette. Having a belt, boom, chops you in half. Mistake number two is not tailoring your sleeves. So by now, you guys are style savvy. You've seen every video on suits, so you know you need to take your suit to the tailor to get it tailored properly. But an area that a lot of guys tend to overlook that think, eh, it's okay, is your sleeve. So you tailor your midsection, you, you have this really nice sharp V, you tailor your trousers, everything's looking ace, but your sleeves, you didn't tailor those. And what happens is on your sleeves, you should be able to see anything from a quarter inch to an inch max. An inch might be pushing it. Quarter inch to three fourths of an inch of your shirt sleeve under your suit jacket sleeve. If you don't show any, your sleeves were too long. If you show too much, your sleeves are too short. Number three too many accessories. I see this way too often, especially on Instagram. Guys get super excited because they're dressing up and they start piling on all these accessories. Before you know it, you've ruined the whole outfit. The beauty of a suit is it's clean, classic, and classy elegance. Once you start piling on all these accessories like a tie, lap of flower, a loud pocket square, cufflinks and whatever else, tie bar, you kind of take the interest away from the suit to all these little cheap accessories that you bought and put on. So what I recommend is to minimize the accessories, keep it to a tie and a pocket square. And even then, don't go super bold. So if you go with a bold tie, make it a mute pocket square. If you go with a bold pocket square, make it a sort of subtle tie, vice versa. Never go too loud or too much. Number four forgetting to remove the tag. It's 2016 guys, you would think that most people would know this by now, but a lot of suits that you buy off the rack, sometimes even the custom ones, come with tags sewn on the sleeve and some X's sewn in the back of your suits. This is just for shipment purposes and branding. You need to remove this stuff, you can't walk around. So the tag on your sleeve, that has to go. The X is on the back, that has to go so your tail end can be loose. That way your suit can drape like it naturally should. And the fifth mistake that I see a lot of guys still making to this day is having their trousers tailored too long. Like I've said this before and I did a whole video on how your trousers or pants should properly fit. You can watch it up here. But what you guys need to make sure is that your trousers only have one full break at most. Optimally, I would tell you to go for a no break look. I feel it looks more modern it looks sleeker and it looks more elegant. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully you're not making any of these mistakes. Go ahead and like this video down below if you found it helpful. See you next time.